everyone, it's John Chow here from JohnChow.com and welcome to another episode of the Dotcom Lifestyle Vlog. It is Saturday, uh, I think April 14th? Yeah, Saturday, April 14th. Yeah, right We're here at the San Clemente Outlet for the, uh, well, we're here at the San Clemente Outlet to, to charge the Tesla, uh, walk the widget, and go to Cars and Coffee. Lead us away, widget. Uh, customized Model 3. Cool. He's blacked out all the chrome pieces. Made the uh, door handles in white as well. Little carbon on the wheel. Still not crazy about the nose though. And another Model 3. Uh, that's pretty high, but look at the finish on this Jeep. It's interesting. It's like some kind of. I don't know. It's Sand like paper. sandpaper, tar. Like it's pretty rugged stuff. It smells like plastic. Yeah. There you go. That's what it is right there. Black Rhino is a hot alloy for off-road use. I mean, it's uh, it's rough. It's yeah. It's I guess it's paint protection. I, think I don't think you can restore its original, however. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess this is uh, what it should look like. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> so we have the regular version, the roll version, and then the modified version, which is much, much bigger, Tire. much, much bigger tire, suspension, and a hot armor, and a wrench. And when you get, I guess when you get home, you drive this, you go out play, you drive that. There you go. Today is a uh, really hot day. It's uh, only 10 o'clock right now, and it's already 75. So I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a hot one today. And that, that Datsun just drove by me and the smell of the gas is terrible. I mean, uh, I can understand why we have emission requirements now. It's just, I don't like the smell of mm, gas going right out of the tailpipe of any kind of catalytic converters. My Sally. Yeah, the angel lights again. Fuzzy dice. Fuzzy dice. Fuzzy dice and a, and a fuzzy pillow. And also purple and the lights too as well as, <laughs> interesting. It's a Cayman. And over here we got uh, a Rubicon, a nice uh, yellow Alfa Romero. Yeah, uh, just a simple Mazda, nothing special, but everyone is welcome at Cars and Coffee. You know, we don't discriminate or anything like that. You, you have an interest in cars, don't care what it is. It doesn't have to be a hot car, it doesn't have to be an exotic car. It could be just, you know, simple Mazda. We're fine. Here you go. Big dog, meet little dog. When you buy yourself a car, you should also get the miniature model to go with it. So, I, I guess, you know, when you're inside a house, you can't see your car, you go look at your model. Unfortunately, his one, the interior is a, is a black and his real life one is tan, so it's not, exact, it's not an exact match. Last generation Audi R8. There's a V8, I can tell by the side blades. Oh, there you go. 2008 Audi R8 V8, 17,000 miles on it. $75,000 if you're interested. A green Cayman S next to a red Cayman S. Most of the time when you see the Teslas, they're, they're down over there, downstairs charging. But, you know, today seems to be Tesla day. So here we have a, a customized Tesla. It's minorly customized. Basically all the chrome pieces has been blacked out. He's got a, uh, a red Tesla logo instead of the normal chrome one. Other than that, I don't think anything else will be done to the car. Now, this guy is really tall, Sally. Check it out. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Check it out. 1945 Ford GT. He's got a rope toe. Oh, yeah. Second infantry. Wow. Yeah, way back then. No seat belt, no nothing. This will hopefully keep you in in case you, well, I don't know. <laughs> wow. 
Acura NSX. Hey, right, look, the original, this guy even got the original MSRP, 2003 Acura NSX. It was $89,000 back then, $765 in options, so he paid just $89,765 back then for this car. I guess you can sell it for that much nowadays because, uh, because they're, I think they're worth something. The chrome wheel, mm, chrome wheel. And speaking of chrome wheels, check out the chrome wheels on this uh, SLS. Remember Sally? We were gonna get this, remember Sally? You wouldn't fit in this. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 it don't, don't fit that well and that's why we didn't get it. I have a nice group of red cars here. We have a, a Chevy El Camino, a, a vintage Corvette. Uh, we have a, a, a red Jaguar, right? Yeah, red Jaguar, a red Ferrari 458 Italia, a red Corvette convertible and uh, a red Toyota Supra. Which red do you like, Sally? Which one do you like of all the red cars here? The Ferrari? You like the Ferrari? Okay. All the other ones are ugly. All the other ones are ugly? Okay. <laughs> so you also like the blue Z06? That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it is quite nice. The Jeep Rubicon Club. They're all out in force. Oh, that one's for sale. Uh, this one's for sale. Yeah, it's a serious rock climber. Oh, uh, yes, I look at this thing. I think this is a Willy. Yeah. Oh, cool. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the inside. Yeah. See? Maybe you thought the Model 3 was the only with the original car to have center instrument panel? Nope, it was in the wheelie. Hey, look at the back, huh? It's a bed, it has a mattress, that's about it. Here's a Mustang, check it out. You know, Mustangs are already known for spinning out when they leave cars and coffee. Well, if you have this Mustang, you can spin out even more. Check out that supercharger, Sally. Yeah, the Synthi a Synthi supercharger. Nice. Looks like a PVC type. And, and this one has a, a root supercharger. This is a root type supercharger. So in case you're wondering what it is, that's a, the blower's here. It's driven by the belt. And the, the centrifugal supercharger, the blower is here. Also, again, driven, driven by the engine's belt. So, yeah, the root type system has its advantages. Uh, this type of system has advantages too. I, I won't get to the tentacles of which is better, but uh, needless to say that they both have their plus and minuses. Miami Vice Ferrari Testarossa. Yeah, so they say in Miami Vice, the TV show, they used the white one. Well, actually, in the first episode of Miami Vice, uh, when they switched to the Ferrari... No. In the first episode of Miami Vice, they, the test also was black, but then what happened was they had to switch it to white because the black one didn't show up in the filming. <laughs> or it showed up very, very poorly, so they switched it to a, a white car. <laughs> and it's for sale, Sonny. Daddy, what's that thing? What's that thing? Oh, this? Uh, this is a, a dune buggy. Yeah. You know, it's 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 a <laughs> it's a beach dune buggy, pretty much. So it's got the little <laughs> so it's cooler. It's got an eight ball shifter. It's got only has a speedometer for the instrument panel because that's all you need, only speedometer. And I think you had a hot wire. I don't know <laughs> what's a <the> key. <laughs> yeah, it's got surfboard on there. Uh, it, 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 okay, I'll admit it, it. It's a death trap. Yeah. That's a death trap. Another death trap, and there's another death trap over there. It's a death trap day. And the S2000 Club is out in force. All three of them. The bikes are over there. Bikes are welcome at Cars and Coffee as well. Here's a beautiful Porsche Targa. Porsche this is Targa. The McLaren's I got its eyes pushed out. And, and, and my favorite supercar, the McLaren. But this Porsche Targa is unique because uh, 
See, uh, I wish I could find a video of how this roof comes off. It's like, it, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so what happens is this, this back window lifts up. Uh, the roof is right there. It goes through the roof somehow and then pops in here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, do a, do a YouTube search for the video that shows this mechanism work. It, it's absolutely crazy. A severe piece of over engineering if you ask me uh, me I would just say manually pop the thing off and put it there and that'll be it but no of course you gotta make it done automatically it's a speed racer oh my god it is speed racer It's Speed Racer! It is, take a picture. <laughs> wow! Come on, you gotta do it. Oh yeah, I'm taking a video actually. Oh, this is, so this is a Corvette, turning into Speed Racer. Uh, yeah, this particular one is uh, a Corvette platform where we take the body off and then we put a new one on. Uh, the original one is a ground up and sits in the Peterson Auto Museum. Oh nice! But this one we can get on the road, DOT. Beautiful. So it's a daily driver. Yeah. There already. Again, they only have one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, have them bake us three fresh ones. Yeah. Wow, we're almost fully charged. Five minutes. Okay, we got the pretzel. Uh, get the car fully charged. Let's go home. Oh, we have to untangle widget. Hmm? Untangle widget. Untangle widget, yes. Untangle widget from. Uh... <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's go. Hey, Widget, come on. Go home. Normally when I think like that, I'm okay.